Okay, okay, this is it. This is your last chance. Seriously, if you don't say something to me right now, I will walk away forever and never speak to you again. Is that what you want? Do you want to get rid of me that badly? You're willing to watch me walk out of your life forever? I will find someone better. Mm-hmm, yeah, I will be happy without you. So it's either say something now, or leave forever. Well, I guess your decision has been made. Fine. Goodbye. Wait! Wait, what? What? Did you just say something? Oh my god, he said something. <gasps> Do it again, please, just please say anything. Come on, please? Katropy sucks. What's going on guys, you're in with Hardy Tech, welcome back to Pokemon White Platinum, the Nuzlocke run the last episode. I believe we took on the like 4th or 5th gym of the Warren region, and of course we won because we're amazing. And I actually have no idea where to go from here, so that should be fun. So really quickly, I think we're going to go take a look at the little map in here and see if it, it has any... Well, I've never understood what the purpose of this counter is. It always confused me, but I just, it, it annoys me, so... I don't think we can go south yet, because this is the this is the Elite Four down here. So, um, I believe we have to go up here. Um, see, this is the okay. This is Scanner City, and I believe last time we were like right here, and this place was blocked off. So we want to go back to London Town and then go north. So, yay! Let's go fly on our big freaking tentacle dragon thing. Woohoo! I wish I had a big flying tentacle dragon thing. That would be amazing. But, alas, I don't. And I have to teach glide to somebody. Or, wait, can I just fly to the other side? Because, I don't know why, but you can't actually fly to this town. Or, or to this one, apparently. Because we were in both these towns, and you can't fly to either one of them. And I don't know why. But, it looks like I have to go get my little flying whore. Because I'm too lazy to... Actually, I can't teach glide to anybody else. I forgot it's not an HM, it's just a normal TM. So... That would really suck if Quinn was to die, we'd be like unable to glide for the rest of our lives. We'd just be left sitting there unglidable. That would make me very That would make me very sad, I'm not gonna lie. But lucky for us that's not the case, and we could just we could fly. Because it's awesome, because we're awesome. Can you fly? No. I can fly on a Torterra much less. Do we still fly on Oh we still fly on Torterra? Oh, that's so adorable. I love it. And I actually think we could have caught a what oh! Oh I thought we actually took on all the trainers over out here. I guess not. I think we could have actually caught a wild Pokemon here. I think you get like wild Swap Blues, another flying Pokemon. And I don't remember if I ever ran into one, so we're not catching anything here, <laughs> um, obviously. And that that sucks because we could have used, well actually no, we already had a Swap Blue and like I don't want a Pidgey or anything. So anyways, let's see if we can go north now because I believe last time this area was blocked off. And is it? It is. What? How do we? Where do we? Where do we go? Then, uh, we don't have a map. I just realized this. There's no Pokenav in this game. And I believe this is a hack of, like, Ruby. Or it might be Emerald. Either way, so there's, there's no map. Uh, where, where are we supposed to go, game? I don't like this. Okay. It's either, oh, okay, let's go to this town and go north then. Alright. Why can't we just fly to these towns? You know how much easier that would make life, but no. For some reason, like, flying is just strictly prohibited. Because, freaking Poke logic. that's why. Oh, wait, did I already take on all these trainers? I don't want to take on you and your weird Whalmer. Wait, if I kill his Whalmer, what is he floating on? Should he, like, theoretically just fall back into the water and then drown and then die? So am I actually killing him? Because that'd be really awesome if I, like, just, you know, are you dead now? My team of water Pokemon can win any battle. Um, well, this is awkward. You kind of maybe just lost. I'm not really sure how to point that out to you, and I kind of was hoping you would be dead. So, you just made this conversation really awkward. Anyways, now in Kosaka City, I think we could go north. Hopefully, maybe. I, I don't know if we ever caught anything here. Did we catch anything on 508? Well, I don't think it matters. You guys know I, I wouldn't use it anyways, because it'd probably just be like some stupid level 20, like, Pidgey or something. So, um... Let's use Quinn. I just, I want to see what would happen if Quinn died. Oh my god, guys, it's Hoodlum Scrappy. He's so famous. Oh, I love him. And, wow, this is going to suck. And Quinn is dead. Wow. Wow. 
Probably should have seen that one coming. Kind of wish I was upset, but it doesn't matter. You know what? The best part, now whenever we have to glide somewhere, we're going to be gliding on top of a dead Pokemon. Yeah. Just think about that. Just like, we take, we take our dead um, Unpheasant out of its Pokeball, lay it on the ground, and then stand on top of it like it's a surfboard. That's actually thinking about it. I should probably go put Quinn in the in the box. I should. I don't know why I had Quinn in the first place. I should have had Golbat again. But oh well. You know, Quinn's now dead, and I I'm not sad. You know, <laughs> whatever. Bye, Quinn. You were somewhat useful. Thanks for the ride. And let's get. People were so many people were like upset that I brought um I didn't bring Dino and I brought Gato. And I thought that was hilarious because people we always yelling at me for using like um. Giratina, who's apparently like overpowered, everyone's like, stop using him. And then I want to use Larvitar, who become like a super overpowered Tyranitar, and everyone's like, use him, use him, already use him. So, you guys, I tell you what, the next Pokemon that dies will be replaced by Dino, I promise. But for now, it's Golbat. And everyone, some people were saying Golbat can learn Fly in third generation. He cannot learn Fly in third gen, okay? It's just, he doesn't. I will show you right now, unless he learns it in this hack, normally though, he does not learn it in third generation. Look not able okay so for those of you who are saying go back and learn fly he can't freaking learn fly just maybe in fourth and fifth gen but not in third okay just stop it stop or i will tickle you all right and not the good kind of tickle i'll tickle with you with like old man back hair i'll get old man back hair i'll turn it into a tickle device and i'll tickle you with that do you want that do you really i don't think you do so you might want to reconsider what you're doing right now okay i don't remember what you're doing because i kind of got on a different topic but either way you're going to want to stop it so stop. Bad. Just, yeah. Okay. Um, anywho. Uh, what? I don't know. I have, like, no idea what's going on in the game. Now. Oh, okay. This is the, um, the fire blow. So I have to teach fire blow to somebody. Which kind of sucks because I don't want it because overheats kind of sucks. But it looks like Cluckers is going to be learning it. So fire blow, 120 base power, 90 accuracy. Um, lower special attack with 10 PP. I guess we'll get rid of... Wow, I just realized he's becoming like our TM horn now. <laughs> we'll get rid of quick attack. We never use that anyways. And we'll probably never actually use fire blow unless we're like against a super powerful Pokemon, which is never going to happen because there's like no such thing as a super powerful Pokemon in this game for, un for weird unknown reasons that I still have yet to question. Because some reason I probably should question them, but I just like, eh, you know, we won't. We won't point out the Pokelogic in this game because Pokelogic... Oh! Oh, I resist Thunder, so at first I was like, oh my god, it's a super power Thunder type move, and I'm like, oh, wait a minute. I resist that, and I'm super strong because I'm OP. Just anything I touch becomes overpowered. I mean, do you not remember Ron? Who else can make us... What? What? No. Oh, oh, oh. I'm stuck going forward. I don't like this. I want to go back. I want to go into the past. I don't want to keep moving forward. I don't want to keep swimming. Stop it, Dory. I don't want to keep swimming. Yeah. I don't know why my emulator does that. Like, randomly, occasionally, it'll get stuck moving in one direction, and I have to reset it. But, um... Wait, wait, wait. Is this a new route? It... I, I wasn't paying attention. Ah! Uh, I don't know. Okay, I'm just gonna say no, it wasn't. So, I think for the longest time, like, the very first time I played this hack, I didn't realize that you were supposed to use Fire Blow there, and I was stuck for the longest time. Ooh, Shockwave. Interesting. Um, and I, I couldn't figure out what to do, because it's like there's just these random ass stumps and they were just so confusing I'm like okay well I bet I use like rock smash because that would make sense because they're like they look like rocks and I couldn't so I'm like okay well maybe I use like ice smash and I couldn't use ice smash so there's a random cat behind me right now it's not my cat either I should probably you know maybe take care of that but yeah you know I can't be bothered I know there's like wild cats that live near I do where I do, but, um, this is kind of weird. Anyways, we are now in Meridian City, I believe it looks, that looks like how it's spelled, I, I don't know. And is there a gym in this town, is the question, because if there is, we're gonna gym something, yay! It's a really fancy looking town, though, I'll give that much. Um, it's really polluted here, so I guess we're in, like, Los Angeles or something. And, oh, oh! Oh my god, this is awesome, they're behind the counter. Welcome to the Meridian Berry Shop! Ooh! Freaking berries, awesome! Um... Uh, there's just a an I hold item that raises attack in a pinch. Interesting. Um, you can buy Chesto berries. That's cool. What do you sell? Do you just have the okay? You just have the same stuff. Well, you're useless to me then. But I might consider like Chesto berries if we ever like 
I don't know what I would use Chesto Berries for, because the situation of getting put to sleep is like so random. Um, I have no idea what type of demon this is, but we'll just go in blind because why not? I'm guessing actually it's probably normal type. I guess the big question here is, is the gym leader actually in here? And, oh, okay, well I'm guessing she is. It's about time we don't have to do some freaking stupid puzzle. That makes me very happy. Is they're not, I, I mean, we do have to do puzzle. We don't have to go find a gym leader. Which she's actually just like chilling in the place she's supposed to be. Which is awesome because that never happens. So you know what? I applaud this gym leader. I think this is... Oh, I thought I clicked Dragon Claw. I'm like, what do you mean Dragon Claw doesn't offend Munchlax? <gasps> Imagine if Munchlax and Snorlax become fairy types. In case you didn't know, I believe... I'm sorry if I get this wrong, but um... Munch... Or fairy types are immune to dragon type moves which for the record makes no sense at all like why do dragon moves not affect them I don't know but uh, do you have to skill to protect up oh, oh, did I already battle you or uh, wait what <laughs> I'm so confused <laughs> okay so one I guess one door just like takes me back and one door takes me forward or um, I don't know these doors are really confusing me and I, I don't I don't want to do this. I just want to battle you, gym leader. I just want to come in here. I want to, like, beat up all the girls because that's totally just, like, the right thing to do. And, son of a bitch, I went the wrong way. Okay, this way. This way. Not that way. This way. And, um... Okay. Okay, I have a feeling what one of these doors is just going to, like, ruin our day and the other one's going to take us where we want to go. So, the big question here is, which one do we take? I say we flip a coin for it, because that obviously really worked out with Gato, who apparently... I actually didn't go back to check this one out, but someone said that D, uh, Dino was actually head and Gato was tails, and I took Gato anyways despite flipping heads, so... Oops, my bad. Anyways, um, we're gonna keep flipping coins, because coins are awesome. Heads will go left, tails will go right, and it's heads! Let's go left. If it's wrong, I'm gonna throw this quarter at my cat. Oh my god, it's right! It's right! It's right! Oh, dude, this is Guy. This is a guy, and he's got all these girls in his gym. This guy's a player. I like him. And he's got a... He's got a Snorlax who's sleeping. That's cool. Anyways. Welcome, visitor. This is the Meridian City Gym. As its leader, I use normal Pokemon to battle. I hope you be a strong challenger. We should get all these girls to watch our battle. <laughs> I bet they'll like it. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this. <laughs> this isn't even fun. Oh, wow, you're a high level. Um, I thought... I didn't think the gym leaders in Lauren got this high of levels. So now I'm a little, like, um, a little scared. So, super power did not kill it, which is actually kind of bad. Charming. Okay, so our attack is just super low at this point, but a Dragon Claw finished him off. Next up is a Mill Tank. Oh my god! Wow, okay, the gym leaders Pokemon are actually the same level as ours now, so... Looks like we're starting to get up where it could be challenging. Let's go with Cluckers. And we do... Or Raw is going to be neutral, although I don't think this thing will have... Uh, oh, okay, Ice Smash is a fighting type move. I, I thought Ice Smash was an Ice type move, and I'm like, oh my god, what happened to my fighting type move? But, nope, Ice Smash is super contradicting because it has Ice in the name, so you would think it would be an Ice type move. You think, like, they just, they would turn their fist into Ice and then punch you with it? Just, or just, like, maybe it's, like, a way to lower your attack. They just, like, put Ice on the ground and then they smash it with their fist to say, like, yeah, you're next. And then you just get, like, really intimidated, so you just sit there completely, like, dumbfounded because you have no idea what to do against this guy. I mean, he freaking, he smacked, oh, whoa, no, no, oh, that's bad, that's really bad. Cluckers, 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 oh, oh, Cluckers, eh, that was scary, um, let's ice smash again. Okay, Snorlax, please don't smash any more ice. I get it, I'm intimidated. I don't want to die. Don't hurt me. I'm really sorry. Uh, I need to start taking this seriously. Wow, Cluckers. What the heck? <laughs> Incredible. For that battle, I'll give you the fifth badge of the Warren League. The strong badge. Wow, this Snorlax, he's just like laying there dead. I don't even think he realized he was just in a battle. With that strong beam, with that strong badge, you can use Focus Punch outside of battle. Focus Punch? What? What do you need to use Focus Punch for? This TM contains Focus Punch. It can only be used to destroy huge rocks outside of battle, and it's very effective in battle if used wisely. Um, yeah, which will probably, like, never be used wisely. Anyways, let's go heal up my poor freaking... Oh my god, Blaziken. 
Wow, people have been like begging for me to use the Lenny. I mean, this guy is like threatening for me to like kill Combuskin because he wants me to use the Lenny so much. And he almost got his wish. Although I did say the next Pokemon to die would be replaced by, um, what's his face. But the bad news is like we really need Clockers because Clockers has like all the TMs we need to get through this game right now. So, um, we can't just exactly let him go die. That's not really an option. Wow, a lot of Scrafty is in this area, which I should probably be careful of because Scrafty is a dark type, and that's not... Okay, speaking of dark types, but I don't think Scrafty is... Actually, I think Scrafty actually can run a special set because I think I've seen Scrafty's as, like, Focus Blast before. I I don't know. I might be wrong in that. I don't really remember, but I don't even know why I have Golbat, to be honest. I'm, like, never going to use him. He's just going to sit there because eventually I'll train him and... Like, when I get ready for the Pokemon World Champ- Oh, we got Team Steam, guys. Uh, oh, wait. Is this my first encounter? I think it is. And I kind of want that Manectric, because I, I need an Electric type. Um, okay, okay. Gato, Gato, you have a job. Don't kill this thing, and don't get killed by it, okay? You can do this. Let's fake out. That's good, because I actually kind of want to use Gato, because Sword Stance and Slash could be a pretty awesome combination. All right, let's Pursuit. No, no, no! Uh, <laughs> I wanted him. He was gonna be my friend, and now, now he never will. Okay. Team Steve has been awakened due to recent events, but we still have confidence in our leaders. Blah blah blah. Oh, oh, random hole in the ground. What the heck is this? I think we're supposed to use a move on this. Okay. What move are we supposed to use on this? I don't remember because I think we're supposed to go underground here, and I don't. What are you? Is it one of the TMs that we have? Oh, is it? Is it Dig? Do you use Dig? Do we have that TM? I'm so confused. Uh, what move is it? What move is it? Hello? Um, can we just... Wait, wait, all you have is Lava Surf. Uh, um... Uh, I don't know what to do. Let me in the hole. Okay, it's okay. We'll, we'll find a way through this. I bet one of those guys in that one town like have a TM or something that they're gonna give you and it's just gonna be like the most useful thing ever so we're just gonna talk to literally every person in here and then we're gonna find something so I'm I'm just I'm gonna go do that now okay so that's completely stupid and I just realized my microphone's really far away so I'm sorry if I was really quiet there but um I moved it when I was doing my research and this is completely stupid we're not so we do get dig but I don't know how anybody's supposed to know this. You're supposed to be going all the way back down here to 509 and into Rickian City. So, I just wasted like 10 minutes talking to every single person in this town looking for that stupid TM because I knew we were supposed to dig there. Is I, and then I was starting to think, well, good, I just glitched the game again and I'm no longer able to continue, so this let's play is kind of screwed. Then I, I did as much research as I could and I found a little guide it, it does it's not a very good guide it just tells you like what locations you're supposed to go like from where to where to where and it said oh after this town you go back to 509 and you go to the other town because that's totally freaking obvious it just ah, i hate this game i don't, what was keeping us from going this way before now i'm confused um what did we never did i never even try going this way i don't know i don't remember either way we're supposed to go this way and go to this town and face the gym here and just because that's totally just, just, that's, I don't know how anybody wouldn't know to do that. Because it's just, it's so clear. It's just like a giant sign that says, hey, just do a bunch of freaking backtracking. Just, err. Sad face. Anyways, I believe there's going to be like, um, I think this up here was where we use Ice Smash for the first time, which, what is TM36? I don't remember. Sludge Bomb. Ooh, that's actually kind of interesting. I believe this is, yep, yeah, this is where we use Ice Smash, or this might be where you, we use Focus Punch, because... I don't remember, have we used Ice Smash before? It's like, that even had a purpose? I don't remember. No, yeah, it did, because otherwise I wouldn't have taught it to Blaze again in the first place. Or would I have? Did I use... I don't... I, I don't know if I ever used Ice Smash. Is that even a real move? Am I just imagining it? Um, yeah, okay, I need to use Ice Smash for that. Or, I need to use uh, Focus Punch for that, which is awesome, because... Once again, Clockers is the only Pokemon who can learn it. So, I don't, well, I don't know. I'm going to go look in a PC and see if there's anyone there who can win it, because I don't want to waste place again like this. Okay, so we went back to the box, and we got out our buddy Ryalu, who was able to learn Focus Punch. So, now he's just going to break all these boxes, because he's this tiny little fox thing that can, 
I think I said boxes, and I don't know why I said boxes, but he, he can destroy things because he does whatever he wants, because he's just like this tiny little fox, and he just doesn't care, and just, yeah, alright, that's cool. We beat the box, let's just get to the next town already, because this game's just making me so sad. And, oh, oh, it's a Pokeball, okay, that's gonna make up for it, it's a black belt, yeah. Okay, that totally makes up for everything. I, I'm not even sad anymore. We are now in Rickian City, so let's see what kind of gym this place has. I'm a little curious. And, oh, it has a nerd. It's, um, poison. Ooh. Uh, that's actually kind of interesting. Um. Yeah, okay. We'll, we'll focus on that later, because I think we're actually supposed to go to, like, a zoo. And I don't know what we get in this zoo, but if, I won't turn down going to the zoo. I went to the zoo yesterday with Rusty, and it was freaking awesome because we saw giraffes, and they were like, so this is like the first time I've ever seen giraffe in person. This is like, that was the pretty much the first time I've ever been to like an actual zoo. I mean, I've been to like these fake derpy little zoos, but they weren't really fun. And, um, we went to like, oh, wait, you look weird. Hello there, I'm Sokka, the leader of the, oh, okay, so this is why I was supposed to go to the zoo. Three Pokemon escaped from the zoo, I need to catch them right away before they get too far. Will you help me? Okay, the missing Pokemon is Shinx, Snorlax, and Steelix. So, how do you lose a Snorlax in a Steelix? Seriously. <laughs> like, what? How does that even make sense? Okay, well, whatever. I believe one Pokemon is actually in the town and the other two are on adjacent routes. So, it's a Pokemon egg hunt. Yay. Or, actually, I don't think any of them are actually in the town or... Uh, I don't know. We're just... We're going to go look for Pokemon now. So... And I'm lagging a lot, which is not fun. I actually... Oh! Oh, wait, can I, can I catch this, Absol? Can I? I don't, I, I, I don't know, oh, man. I'm doing so bad with the whole, like, hey, this is a Nuzlocke. I'm supposed to be catching one Pokemon in each route. I'm completely, oh, I don't want to use Shadow Ball. I'm completely messing that up, and it's actually starting to, like, really annoy me, because I, I wanted that Absol, and I don't know if I can catch it or not. Like, a lot of those Pokemon I run into, they're relatively useless, and I'd probably never use them, but no, an Absol. Absols are amazing. All right, so we got the Shinx. Now we got to go find, somehow, a Lost Steelix and a Lost Snorlax, because... You know, that just totally makes so much sense. That they're just chilling out here. I believe we... They're actually, like, quite some ways away. Because, of all things, the Shinx is the one that got the least amount of distance when running away. But, um... I don't remember. Are they down here? Or... And I'm glitched again. Why is this happening so much? Uh, this has just been, like, one horrible episode. So I accidentally just saved over my, like, original file that had all the like box Pokemon in it so oops um like the one like before when I got glitched out I was keeeping that save file so I can remember what Pokemon I had to box in case I ever like needed to get one and I haven't recaught them yet I would know and I accidentally just saved over that so I remember I had like a snow run in there which but the, for the most part a lot of the Pokemon that I haven't recaught yet are probably Pokemon I never would have used anyways like snow runs um that's like the only one I can think about the best swine of. I, well, I don't know. I might use swine up someday. I kind of wanted to use snow run. I was really excited to use snow run, but you guys ended up picking Turtwig instead, which has turned out to be a great thing because this Torterra is a freaking monster. But, but still, I was a little excited to use a um, a snow run, but alas, it's not gonna happen. And I think one of the Pokemon is up this way, so because it just it makes total freaking sense that uh, I'm doing too much complaining. I'm sorry. I'm gonna stop complaining. Right now, no more complaining from Hardy Take Yo Yo. It's official. I will never. Oh, oh! Can I just take this Snorlax back instead? That would that work? Is that possible? Can I just catch him and then bring him back? Cause, oh, speaking of Snorlax, all right. Well, now I just gotta find the stupid Steelix, and I have no idea where it is, cause it's that easy to lose a Steelix, and I just I'm so sad. Okay, well we're back here, which is useless part of town. Seriously, a Steelix, how do you... Okay, no, 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 Hardy, no complaining. Positive thoughts. Positive, happy thoughts. Tomatoes. I love tomatoes. Those are ha those are positive. Those are happy. I've... Well, I've had bad, bad experiences with tomatoes, but we're not going to be talking about those. We're going to think about all the happy and good times I've had with tomatoes, like whenever I eat them. Because they most of the time they taste really good, unless you get like a spoiled one, and then it tastes horrible. But what I really want to eat right now, I really want to eat a Steelix. Just to, like, punish it for disappearing, because it, it just, it makes no sense. 
Okay, you know what? I bet it's just like, I bet it's back in that, um, in that one town we were in. It's probably just there, you know, like teasing me because I came all that way to look for the Snorlax and it's just sitting there in the town, just, just mocking me because it can, because it, it hates me for some reason. I, despite the fact I did absolutely nothing to it, it hates me. So, anybody seen a Steelix? Just chilling around here anywhere? Anybody? No? Okay, just, just curious. Um, if you happen to see one, maybe like give me a ring. You know, let me know that you just you saw Steelix chilling around here. We need to get it back into its cage thing because that's totally not entrapment, even though we put him in Pokeballs. And that's like even more of a, Is this supposed to be the Snor Steelix? That's supposed to be the Steelix. Where in the world would a Steelix hide? How does. <laughs> How does this even make sense? Uh, I just... Uh, man, where's Steelix? Uh, he's, no, no, complaining. No, complaining. No, complaining. Happy thoughts. Happy thoughts. We can do this. Happy thoughts, guys. Come on. Let's, let's think of something positive, like, like AIDS. No, wait, no, that's not positive. Unless you're actually positive, and then that, that sucks. But where... See, okay, there's no way Steelix would be out there. Steelix can't swim. <laughs> it's not fair. I just want to find this stupid Pokemon already. It is just it's not here. It's just it's just not here And I'm just I'm so sad and my game is glitching out and how do you lose? <laughs> no positive be happy hearty Steelix. Yes, okay I bet I bet it's in these woods cuz that's totally a place where I would put my Steelix if I had one I would just leave it in the firewoods. I would. Just, I wouldn't even let it escape in the first place. How did nobody even notice it was getting out? It's a giant rock, steel, snake thing. It's like, oh, it's escaping. Maybe we should stop it. Nah, Bob. Let's just let it go. What's the worst it could do? And some stupid little trainer would come along and go find it for us anyways, because he's just too gullible to say no to anything. And I am. I'm too gullible to say no. And I just. I want to go home. I just. Why can't we fly to this town either? Why can't we fly to any of these towns? <laughs> I give up. I just, I give up. So guess who I found? Yeah, dude, somehow Steelix got across that lake and he's over here in, by frickin' Linden Town, cause why not, you know, why not? Stee, 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 stee. Wow, Hardy, that Steelix was really far away, but I found it and I found your Shinx, and you found Shinx's Norlax. We just need to return to the zoo. I'll be waiting for you in my gym. Fly, Crobat. Yeah, and I'm just, uh I'm gonna destroy you in that gym, but we'll do that next time because I'm just I'm so done with this game. I, I hate it so much. Uh, until then, I'm Hardy Tech Yo Yo. If you enjoyed the video for some odd reason, if you actually found entertainment in this because I don't know how because I hate life, like the video or dislike or just send me pop tarts. I don't care. Bye.